this week's reality wrap. Let's get into the season finales of Cutting It in the ATL, followed by Jim and Chrissy Vow and Never. This was by far my favorite episode. The ladies are competing for the Control Magazine Beauty Boss competition. I mean, it's a great thing. It's a cover. You promote your brand. They have to do an interview where they talk about their brands and how they're expanding. They have to do a photo shoot where they style themselves. This is a win-win for everybody. The shade of it is they asked for Pat, Mushia, Deidre, Beauty J to be in it, but not LaKenya. No shade. LaKenya's like a regular cast member. Like... So the first part of the competition, the ladies have to do an interview. I mean, they are selling it. But it wouldn't be normal if some shade wasn't thrown in there. Mushia trying to let Beauty J have it. So I just started going to the gym. What I'm trying to do is promote more of that. Well, she so went to the doctor to first. The she went to the doctor first and got her body done, and now she got my body done. Oh, oh honey. The shade. Honey, the this shade. is all natural, honey. No, it's not, actually. Meanwhile, where is Pat in the middle of all this? Girl, because Steven couldn't deliver Maya what she wanted, she set up and sent Pat on a dummy mission, honey. An all-expense-paid trip to North Carolina with red carpet and all. I love it. They are like going out. They didn't get the red carpet and everything. <laughs> okay, ladies, we're here. <laughs> Where's your dressing room? Where's the photographer? Where is the stylist? Where is the makeup artist? You know she's about to go pet shit crazy. Pat done showed up with her with her crew. She had an all white outfit on. She got on white feathers. Touched by it and she like a drunk angel, honey. You gotta pull on your neck up on people like that. How about that? Take that. I was not surprised that Mushia won the cover. She slayed. Mushia is a hustler. She's making skin products. She's making hair products. She got clip-ins. I mean, what isn't Mushia doing? Let's get into my favorite, Jim and Chrissy Vow and Never. Okay, y'all, we start the episode off with drama. Remember last week when Jim was like, maybe we should take a little break? Well, this week, Chrissy's like, well, f nobody. We ain't got to do nothing. That's not what Jimmy said. Y'all heard what I heard, right? Just take marriage off the table. M maybe marriage Nobody is for is us. Nobody is saying. I'm doing you a favor, and let's you just- You doing me a favor, or you take doing it off you the a table. favor? Let's that's just take not, it off the I table. I didn't say that, you said that. Mm. Meanwhile, we see the Mama Jones is over here meeting with a psychic relationship, a hookup person, basically read her energy and tell her what type of man she needs to be with so that she can stay in the Jim and Chrissy's business. But then Mama Jones is giving Zeke advice about how to date a woman because he's into Tiffany? Listen. <laughs> Just pull out a little bit, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now what I do? You better push it in, whatever uh, I'm supposed to do. After that, there you go. Listen, you want something to eat? You know, fresh oysters. So, I'm for an aphrodisiac. Yes. I like Jimmy, even though he seems very blunt, kind of standoffish, a little bit of an asshole. He means well. He done got this boat ride set up for Chrissy, trying to tell her how he feel. He on here crying, got a tissue. And then she coming in with the gun, like, you don't talk to me, you don't do this, you don't do that, blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, take this ring, say I do, and just live happily ever after. Y'all been going through this shit for 11 years. You need to stay in Miami, Chrissy, and let Jim go to New York, and y'all figure this shit out. Cause season two, we not having this. Make sure you use the hashtags, Cutting It and Jim and Chrissy. And as always, tune in every week right here for Reality Rap.